jokes about unemployed people aren't funny. They just don't work. <laughs> Ouch, guys. Are you want me to finish this thing? Please don't make <laughs> more jokes. Wagwan guys, what's good? And welcome to or or back to Mission Accomplished where we showcase the lives of people that have accomplished much. I'm your host Lemuel Minamo and I'm your co-host Tendo Ethigo. Now today we have a very special guest among us because we only have special guests. Exclusive. Yeah. So today we are here with Jenny Fuckaberry. Um so um, could you introduce yourself a bit more to the viewers? Okay, so I'm the CEO and founder of Intoto News. So all of you uh, know about Intoto News. Uh, it's yeah. a children's media company. We help children to be able to create their own content. Yeah. Okay, and thank you guys for inviting me to your show. I was I was just feeling so bad when you guys were inviting all these other important people, and I, I never got invited. So when I got the invite, I was like, yay! They remembered me. Thank you for coming. Th thank I you. Know, thank yes. you. Thank I know you, you have a much. lot on your on your plate, managing everything. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what are your hobbies? The things you like doing in your free time? Gosh, when you're old, hobbies reduce. So I used, I used to. I'm hoping I can get back to running. Um, yeah. So I used to run. Uh, I stopped that. I think I just got busy running, um, reading. Okay. I do sing. I have a, I, ha I have a singing voice. Um, yeah, and creating stuff. So I, I love sitting by myself and think about how I can solve a problem. Okay, it's not, for me it's not work, other people use it as work, but for me I find joy in that. Okay, and I think that's one of the reasons, I think I should go back to running, because it's when I'm running, I get a lot of ideas, because my, my, my brain is blank, and I'm, because I'm focusing on the run, and then I just start getting ideas and innovating stuff. So, um, but I'm not running in a while, like in two years, gosh, I need to go back to run, yeah. Okay, Miss Jenny, how do you, why do they spell dark with a K and not a C? Hmm? Because you can see in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> On a serious note, uh -huh. uh, could you tell us a bit more about your childhood? My childhood? Um, so I have a twin. Yeah, I think she's gonna be in this show at some point. You know, um, so I was born to, so I don't know how to be not to, you know, the way you like you're an only child or you can be you by yourself. I don't know how to do that. So I find it funny when people say, oh, alone, alone, like, yeah, no, I don't know the word alone because I was born a twin. Okay. I was meant to die when I was born because I was born, um, at 0 0.8 kilograms that's 800 grams i was supposed to be born in february but i got born in, in november end of november so that can tell you okay so i i i i, I see myself as a gift uh, and there's a reason there's a purpose that god i was created i i, I survived so actually what my mom tells me so during a time one of the nights the lights went off at pomwani and all kids died all the babies who were born together died i was the only one who was left and they thought i would be the first one to die because i was the tiniest but i didn't die so uh and then so and then how god was faithful to my to my parents and uh we were able to move from nakuru from nairobi to nakuru so that's why i was brought up I uh, went to nursery school at St. Nicholas Primary School. No, not nursery, nursery, nursery school. And then I went to Standard D1. Oh, thank you to Moi 
as we are drinking milk every single day. I miss present Moy because of that. You guys do you drink milk? Yeah. I in school? Um, um, we have tea. In school. We have yeah. Tea. No, I'm not talking about tea. I'm talking about milk, like, like from government milk. Is this, this this government milk? Yeah. Imagine we used to take government milk. So like it was a flex, like you take. No, government milk was amazing. It's like government milk for like the rich dudes or It was for milk. every child in Kenya. So I in my childhood I remember the milk and the scone. Ah, the scones were amazing. I don't think they make scones like that anymore. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And the milk. So they used to warm for us milk when we were younger. And then when you get to standard E4, as we went the OG eight four four, not these ones that people used to do, the OG eight four four, it was the, the original one, it was really good. We never used to do like a lot of subjects. I think up to standard four, three, we used to do like four subjects: math, English, Kiswahili, and science. Were they split into sections, or was it just basics of math, science? Basic, like uh, hello Tom, hello Mr. Kamau, hello, hello children. Okay, you know, you guys know hello children, no? No, it's a book. It's a really amazing book. It teaches you a lot of life skills. You should look for it. Hello, children. It's a really nice book. And then we had home science. Do you guys do home science? Home science is the things like uh, learning how I mean, coverage. So, <laughs> not like that, like how to cook, how to clean. Yes. Stuff like that. Yes. Although we don't do that. This is how we do coverage. Yeah, but those, those are skills that we were taught that have stayed with me, like baking. Okay, we are baking without an oven. Hey, baby, they took a hey, magnifying glass. Now they are like, they no, 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 not like that. So you, that's you make, cool. you make an oven using sand or soil. Yes, lem. Did anyone yes. actually eat that food? Yes, like my birthdays from the age of eight to the age of fifteen, I made my own cake using sand. You ate. Yes, I have pictures I can show you. No, guys, I'm not saying that you're going to put the sand in the cake. You make an oven using sand. And then, and you same paste, the way you make paste for for, for cake. And it has a mechanism. Yes, so like you put, you put us, you have two big sufurias, okay, and then you put sand. Okay, and then you you have the 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 of the, another sufuria where you put your cake, your cake paste. Okay, and then you cover it, the big sufuria, and then you put sand. So it creates an oven. Okay, so most of us we do not have ovens. So that's how we used to bake cake. So if you want to bake cake without an oven, um, I think we'll do a separate episode of how to bake cake. Yeah, we need yeah without an oven. So. Yeah, so, and then uh, I did standard eight uh, and went to high school. Um, so I went to high school, a school called Kisumu Girls High School. Yay! KG. It's in Kisumu. We used to eat fish. You know, have you do you eat fish in school? Uh, no, I do not eat fish. But we do eat the roadside fish. Does very your, fresh. Does your mom know? Very fresh. <laughs> does your mom know you eat roadside fish? Well, yes, they do. Buy. Okay, so we uh, so we used to eat fish in school, so that was amazing. It's like a flex, like when you came back home. Like, of course, it's a, yes, fish. yes. When other people are eating dairy, as we're eating fish in school. Hey, I eat fish. fish. Yeah, I eat fish, fish in school. You know, so um, and then um, yeah, and then I went to uni. I wanted to be a lawyer. And then I did not become a lawyer. I became a social worker. Yeah, that's my childhood. Okay, so what do you think was the most significant year in your life? Two years, two or three years. Old at age two. Or three. No, no, no. I'm trying. To, I'm saying it significance. It depends. Or when I was in my childhood, or throughout my life. Okay, it depends on the stage of life. Guys, you know I'm old. So, um, it depends on what stage of my life. I remember when I was in grade, I think seven or eight. 
uh, my parents were struggling to pay my school fees. And I remember it hurt. And then because my, when you're growing up, you never lived alone, like a family. You used to have relatives, cousins, uh, your uncles. And then we used to have, um, uh, we used to have, uh, like my, my dad is a pastor, so we have congregation people coming. So our house was full. And I saw how my parents were struggling. I think at that age is when you start having realization, 13, 14, is when you start realization what your parents are going through. And I saw my parents were really struggling to pay our school fees. And I remember praying and telling God, please help me to finish standard eight. Okay? And I'll give you one year of my life just to serve. Okay? And then in God was faithful. My parents were able to pay my school fees. I was able to finish, finish um, uh, pr pr uh, primary school, went to high school, and then high school happened. And then the age of 16 again, it was a significant year in my life because I made decisions about my life. And I remember I tell, if you have never done to do this, your vision board for your life, planning for your life. In five years time, what do I want to be? In 10 years time, in 20 years time. At the age of 16, I don't know, I attended a meeting or I don't know, but I remember being very significant and making those plans. Okay, but remember I had, I had promised God I'm going to give one year of my life. So I had to put that one year of my life in my plan. Okay, so I I planned for 20 years of my life. Okay, that was significant because it directed me when guys were going for funky, I would ask myself, is this going to contribute to my plan? Okay, if when uh, when I when when people are going like in uni, you know uni you are just wild. Okay, yeah. when people are going to go out, they're drinking, they're having parties, they're doing all these things. I would ask, does is this contributing to my plan? No. Okay, so when people will do that, for me I'll be busy volunteering. Okay, I'll in new life homes because I went to University of Nairobi. I'll be going to new life homes. I'll be going to Mukuru. Okay, instead of bumming at home and renting movies, oh, yeah, we never used to have Netflix and YouTube. Yeah, we used to rent uh, cassettes, not disc. Disc, you are, disc is very recent. Cassettes, movie cassettes, like they, are, they were huge. They were like this size. So instead of renting, instead of renting, I will, I will go and try to do something. So it's contributing to my life. So, so, so by the age of 25, I had already given my one year to God, which I did in, in, uh, in, in Molo. I, for one year, I stayed in Molo for one year, working with street children. Okay. For one year. So. By the time I was done with what, that one year, I got an international job. And I had one, the age, and the expected uh, expected experience. Did I, have, have, have they worked anywhere for payment? No. My volunteering. Okay? So that was another significant year of my life. Age 25. 25? Yes. 25. Yeah. Yes, 25. I'm trying to count. Gosh. Yeah, 25, 24. Okay. So. Okay. Um, so. Hmm, tell us about the most significant part of your life. Now. Um, I'm going to ask you about something. Do you like Italian food? Pasta? Yeah. It depends on who makes it. Oh, yeah. I love the Italian pizza. If you eat Italian pizza, not the Mother Godania we eat here in in restaurants. I will not name ones. But the real Italian pizza, 
Oh. Ah. You have never eaten something like that in your life. Oh. It's amazing. It's amazing. Okay? So, it's it's really good. I love the Italian pizza. It's not fatty. It's not chunky and it doesn't have a lot of grease. Well, you can call it cheese. But it, it's not, but it's really, really nice. I love the pizza. Did you hear about the Italian chef? Which one? No, I didn't. I did hear. He I, passed away. When? It's about to go down. He passed away. Like a pasta you eat. He, he passed, passed away. away. He passed away. He passed away. He passed away. Passed away. Like, okay. Passed you got me, guys. Okay, fine. Okay. I'm slow. So now, so now, uh, I have two questions for you. Mm -hmm. Number one, um, did you always want to do this? As in, after doing being a lawyer, didn't work out. Mm -hmm. Was this your next option? Working with children is my calling. What I did in uni didn't matter. Okay? I did social work. But why I wanted to be a lawyer, let me give you a background, is because I wanted to defend children. I wanted to take bad people to court and make sure that they are being jailed. Yeah. Yeah, anybody who does, who harms children. That's why I wanted to be a lawyer. Okay, now my second question is, if that 16-year-old person, mm -hmm. or at whichever age you said this lawyer did want to work out, mm -hmm. um, if they came to the future and saw what you had accomplished now, what do you think they would be? They will hug me and tell me, Jenny, you have done it. They will they will they will really they will they will tell me, Jenny, you have done it. Because you are doing what you wanted to do. I'm not a trained lawyer, but I practice law. In terms of I'm involved in developing laws, okay? Not only in Kenya, but at the African level at the global level, okay. I'm defending children's rights, okay. Yeah, I am working with children to empower them. So, my 80 year old self will come and hug me and tell me, Jenny, you did it. Yeah. You did it. We did it. Is I did it or we, we did it? We, because yeah, it's, we. it's us, eh? Right? Yeah, we did it, right? Yeah, so. They will be very, very happy. They will, in fact, they say you exceeded expectations of what we had planned to do. Not that vocabulary at the end. No, I'm using that. It, no, we did not have. Yeah, we had not watched a lot of. Yeah, TV. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I have a question. Have you ever experienced an Yes. Yes. Yeah. A lot. Okay. And. Jokes about unemployed people are funny. They just don't work. <laughs> Ouch, guys. Are you want me to finish this thing? Please don't do any more jokes. If you want me to finish your podcast, just, just, just. Okay. Now we're going to a special segment mm -hmm. that we call that we call the, the questions, questions of the lemon ten. Now, um, our first question to you is: You created a vision board. Mm -hmm. After that vision board, did do you think you had? Did you create another vision board after you saw that? Like ever since that vision board, mm -hmm. are you still up to date with it, or you? Vision board are to be updated, eh? uh -huh. so I do one every year. But you have to evaluate. Okay. You don't evaluate, is it? Yeah. Like to change. To check. check. Not, to, not to change. Yeah. To check. Yeah. What have you been able to achieve, uh -huh. and what have you not been able to achieve? Okay. So I do. So you have a long term one. You have like a long time one, like five years, ten years one. But you should do one annually. Just, and this is to keep yourself true, okay? So, have I achieved what I wrote when I was 16? Yeah. Mostly. Okay, so next question. What's your favorite sport? I, I, or do you have any sport? No, I don't. I, 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 no, I'll be lying. And if you're going to ask me about soccer or football, I please do not. I have no clue. 
and if it's a joke guys please don't joke with that i i don't know about as well yeah okay so if someone came up to you mm-hmm. and gave you a job opportunity to mm-hmm. become a lawyer mm-hmm. would you accept or deny at this stage of my life it depends on what law i i, I love what i do at total news I've, it's not that i've not been offered jobs i've been offered but i love what i'm doing i believe i'm supposed to be doing what i'm doing right now it's not easy i've been offered many but at this stage of my life i know i'm supposed to be doing this so i can have young people like you and you empowered okay probably it's not forever it will reach an age or a stage where i will have to leave and let you guys run on toto news but at this particular age i don't think i will take any job yeah okay now for the most important probably the most important question in this podcast what advice would you give to people who would like to do what you do empowering children speaking like basically some kind of activism about children um passion and purpose okay don't start it to make money you do it because you want to it's because there's a purpose because if you are going to make money you're going to be broke <laughs> you're going to be discouraged i've seen people say oh i do what we're doing in certain is they start six months then like what happened I, it's too difficult there's no money <laughs> okay so if you're doing it for money don't do it for money i'll tell you something my first boss ever told me look for a problem solve it and money will come <laughs> Okay? So if you are, and that's what I did. I saw a problem. Children like you guys were not being engaged. You didn't have a place, a platform like here to come and create your content. It's really rarely that you would see children on TV. Yes. Surprisingly, there's no other platform apart from taking news like that. Exactly. So I saw a problem. And I said I'm going to solve it. We don't have loads of money, but we have enough for us to be able to make sure the lights are on. Mm-hmm. You guys when you come here you have small chair. Mm-hmm. Okay? We have cameras. Okay? So, if you want to do it, know why you are doing it. Don't do it for money. Yeah. Know why you are doing it. But don't do it for money. Man, you will you will you will die of stress and you'll be super broke. Okay? Yes. Thank you so much Miss Jenny for coming today. Um We really enjoyed your company here telling us all the tips and tricks in life and accepting our jokes. Um Tendo, do you have anything else to say before we close? Yes. Make sure you tune in next time. But for now, thank you for joining. It's been real and fun. I hope you've learned something something new. Anyways, until next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.